James 2, 24. You see that a person is justified by what he does and not by faith alone. Whenever you quote that verse to an Anomian lawless Christian, a.k.a. Nicolaitan, they're going to do their best to get around it and deny what it actually says. I boiled it down to three top excuses that these antinomians make. And this is part two of a three-part video series. One video for each of these stupid excuses. In this video, we're going to debunk the second excuse. And that is, well, the epistle of James is only for the 12 tribes. Because James chapter 1, it says, to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. It's not for me. I'm a Gentile. That's for the Jews, okay? Uh, Paul is for me. Uh, th that is for the Jews. James is for the Jews. Now, I got to give it to them. Because at least they acknowledge what it actually says. That it's about being justified by works in the sight of God. And they also acknowledge that James teaches something completely different than Paul. I mean, kudos to them. They didn't get it all wrong. But they failed miserably by engaging in three serious fallacies. Number one, inconsistency. If the epistle of James is only for the 12 tribes, because it says in James chapter 1, to the 12 tribes scattered abroad, then the epistle of Galatians is only for the saints in Galatia, because it says in Galatians chapter 1, to the saints in Galatia. And the epistle of Romans is only for the saints in Rome. Number two, they are admitting that they're not part of the 12 tribes. They're going to have a real hard time once they get to heaven. Revelation chapter 21 says the final destination, the heavenly city, the new Jerusalem, will have 12 gates, one gate for each of the 12 tribes. What gate are they going to use? If the epistle of James is not for them because they're not part of the 12 tribes, then the heavenly city is not for them either because they're not part of the 12 tribes. And number three, they are promoting double standard hypocrisy. When they go out into all the world to preach the gospel, they're going to have to preach two gospels just in case one of those people in their audience is part of the 12 tribes. They're going to have to ask everybody, are you part of the 12 tribes? Because if you are, I'm going to have to preach James to you and not Paul. Double standard hypocrisy. God is not a God of double standards. He doesn't suffer from multiple personalities. He's not a schizo. We have one God, one Father, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one law, and one gospel. Don't miss part three.